Okay, in this example, I'll continue working on the example I worked previously, but we'll be doing a train and test split. We have this data from 1949 to 1960. So I'll use data up to 1959, so December 1959 for training. And this will be uh, 132 observations. Then I'll be using the remaining data for testing. So, um, and these are 12 observations forward after this date. So now what I need to do is load the models, define them the same way I did before, uh, make predictions, and then measure the error with the test data. Here I have a few libraries we can import. So what we'll be doing is working with these models, so AutoArima, ETS, and Naive. So then we need to define the parameters we'll be using. So the season length is 12, as we defined it before, and the horizon will be 12. That is the same as the length of the test data. So I define this, and now we define a list uh, with models. So we pass in the auto rima class as we did before, the auto ETS and naive. Auto ETS and auto. Okay, there it goes. And so then after defining the models, I need to instantiate the stats forecast class. So this has the data that we're using for training, the models we just defined. The frequency of the data and n shops equals minus one is use all the co the cores in the computer. So I run that, and in order to make predictions, we we do sf dot forecast, and we pass in the horizon we want to make predictions. So now it's training these three these two models really, and this one is just a naive version that's very simple. Uh, but sometimes it's useful to, to compare. In some cases, the naive forecast is not that bad, so it's good to have it there. Um, and there it finished, so this is really, really fast. Here we can see the predictions. Uh, we have the same issue as we had before, that we, have, we need to add one more day to this. Here I'm going to do it. And Okay, and now I should be able to merge this with the test data. So um, I can do y threads merge y test how equals inner and the columns I'll be showing are unique ID and uh, yes so the date. And uh, okay this works fine so basically what I did is I I took this data frame with the predictions and I added the Y column here. So by merging to Y test. So I can assign this to Y threads. And now I need to uh, plot this data and I could also measure the error of each model compared to Y. In order to plot this data, the first step would be to uh, grab the last 24 observations of the training data, uh, the predictions, and concatenate them. So then I can define a figure, a matplotlib figure, that has a better uh, size to visualize time series data. So here I add the plot df I just created, select the columns we'll be using, and plot it. And here I add some uh, titles. ETS is not. Okay, it's auto ETS. Okay, there it goes. Okay, and here it seems that auto Arima was a better model. I mean, it, if you look at the orange line and the blue line, so here they are a little bit closer than the green one, and here also. So by just taking a look at data, I mean, I can get a very good feeling on what this uh, which model is better uh, let's see uh, what we get in terms of the evaluation metrics okay so now that i've 
plotted the data and the predictions and got some intuition on the results, I'm going to yeah evaluate it using a more objective metric. Let's define the my. So we have the true values and the predictions. And what we need to do is return the mean absolute error. So we will take the mean first and the mean will be of the absolute value and we'll be taking the true values minus the predictions. So um, then we, we can just compute this on, on each of the columns of the predictions of the model with respect to the target. Here I have y prets. So I can do y prets to my of the true values and the prediction. So let's say alpha v max. So we have it and we get 18. So um, then we can do alpha ETS. We get 35 and then we get uh, 76. So, I mean, this is more or less in line with what we saw in the plot that auto arima was a little bit better than ETS. Uh, sometimes you could average both models and sometimes that works better. So we could actually just try it. So, I mean, let's, let's see. So, uh, ensemble and we can do Y prets auto arima plus Y prets ETS and then we divide it by two. So, and now we can take the my of the ensemble. So, so we pass in the true values and we pass in the predictions of the ensemble. Uh, okay, we get 16, that's great. So this is a neat trick. And I mean, if you, if you think about it, I mean, how easy is this? I mean, it's really the easiest model you can build, but this is only possible with this software. Before the Nixla uh, package, uh, I don't think there was the possibility to do this in Python with this speed, uh, with this speed and this quality. Um, so I think that's the, the great uh, feature of this uh, project. They have a very simple API. Uh, it's very easy to use, but the models are very fast they get very good results. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, overview.